Okay, so this video we're going to be doing a uh, Carnes Leather Fire Helmet. A good friend of mine bought this and is wanting to redo it all in black. Uh, he got um, this stuff called Citrus Strip, and he soaked it in it several times, took a brush and scrubbed it off. Coming to find out that it had several layers of paint on it, so it did take a little longer to do than he expected. When he got done, this is the, uh, this is the outcome of what he had. And then he brought it to me, and I took some uh, fine sandpaper, sanded over it in different places, cleaned up some of the edges, and got it ready for primer. Right, guys back out in the shop on this fire helmet we're working on uh yesterday we got this thing primed we used transtar two-in-one automotive primer and i let it dry overnight just to be sure that hopefully the paint we're about to put on it next won't uh have any kind of funny reactions and the paint we're using now is one shot letter and enamel uh this is the first time he's ever done this he had talked to some guys at work um they give him some pointers or how they done theirs Looked it up online and saw how people done theirs. And a lot of guys use Krylon. Some guys have used high temp engine paint. And a lot of guys have had really good uh, reluct or results with using the one shot. Uh, some guys have brushed it, but we're gonna actually thin it down and spray it and see how it comes out that way. So let me get my mask on and we'll get to spraying some one shot.
So here it is finished. Uh, like I said, it's really glossy when it's wet. Um, it gets really thick and it takes it longer to dry. So what we done, we set it out in the sun, let it dry all day pretty much, then brought it in the house, let it dry again, and he picked it up the next day. And once it dried, it did kind of level out a little bit. And uh, it's been a while now since he's since he's had the helmet back. He's put some of his trim pieces on it. And uh, he said the black is holding up real good. It's still looking good. And uh, that's what we were shooting for. Hey guys, I'd like to take this time to thank all the first responders out there. I have several family members that are in law enforcement, a good friend that is a fireman, several other friends that are firemen and volunteers. Uh, my son is a volunteer fireman, and nothing makes me more proud than to see him suit up and go out and run a call. So once again, I'd like to thank all these guys and ladies um, for going out and doing what they do, putting their lives in danger every day to take care of you and I. So let's all thank them.